and welcome again to another episode of Comic Books for the Wing. I'm Andre, my name is Cliff. Hello, everyone. And we're here at Captain Quebec at 1837 St. Catherine Street West in Montreal. Today we are talking about Fantastic Four, number one. This is the intro, the first appearance of the Fantastic Four. Shortly after that little intro, they show how they, um, I guess, hijack uh, uh, a spaceship. Reed Richards is a brilliant scientist who uh, does a lot of research apparently on cosmic rays. The only qualified person to go with him is Ben Grimm. I believe he's a pilot. Yes. An aircraft pilot, but not a space pilot. No. Sue Storm is actually the fiance of uh, Reed Richards. So wherever he goes, you're not going without me. The teenager, the teenager Johnny Storm. He like, tags along because it's a sister, right? That's right. So they all go on this wonderful adventure up into space, and they see the cosmic rays and getting the data. But of course, those rays literally go through the ship and through each of the crew members. Little by little, each of the characters, though, are transforming with their apparent powers. Afterwards, they you know they decide all there to form a pact that they will use their powers for good and not for awesome. Uh, afterwards, they're watching TV, getting information about these reports that uh, all these nuclear uh, sites suddenly are disappearing, and they decide, you know what, we gotta investigate this. They all go to that uh, island there, and while they're walking up uh, the mountain on the island, uh, Johnny and uh, Reed Richards, they seem to just fall into this hole, and they seem to be blinded by this light, which turns out to be a whole valley of diamonds, and uh, we were actually told that Valley Diamond by their newest villain, the Mole Man. Essentially, he's the one responsible for all the, uh, the, the nuclear sites that are disappearing, because apparently that's part of his plan to, once those sites are gone, he'll have easier uh, access to take over the world! Take over the world! The other half of the Fantastic Four arrive there, and they escape. Actually, Mr. Fantastic leaves the Mole Man back behind, and then at just that moment, the island explodes, apparently sealing the Mole Man and his creatures from, from yeah. the Earth. The, uh, the cover. Everything about that cover is just, I mean, if we're also talking about 1962, it still stands out today. It was original at this time period to have a bickering uh, family members yeah. and, and foes, because every, every, you know, before this, the, the DC world and the Marvel, well, before Marvel format yeah. was that everybody's perfect and heroic and nobody squabbles. How ridiculously easy it was for them to bypass the guards to get to the, the space shuttle. It, they, were, they weren't even sneaking, they, they were just going on the side and the guard, there was one guard. Yeah. Apparently for the military base, you know, budget cuts and everything, yeah. you know. The rating, I'm, I'm going to be a little rough on it, I'm going to say 7 on 10. I give it a solid 8. Well, thank you very much for uh, watching. My name's Andre. My name's Cliff. And we'll see you again. Later.